bless the Lord yes. and we thank the Lord for just um, having this prayer gathering we thank and praise the Lord for just the encouragement that comes forth and we know that that everyone's being encouraged everyone's being spiritually fed so um, yes. right now is our time we're going to go forth with the word tonight and it's coming from a very familiar verse coming from the book of Romans um, Romans the eighth chapter verse 28 and it reads, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. And um, the Lord has impressed this upon me um, this week. Um, this is a scripture that has uh, popped up in my spirit a couple of times during, throughout the week. And I wanted to share it with you. And um, I'm praying that even as this word goes forth, it encourages you Um to see the Lord in a, in a new light, to see him in in, in in the light of just being there with you. So um, there's one thing when we meditate on this verse um, that we can be assured of as believers, and that is no matter what life throws at us, we can always be mindful and know that God is always in control. God is in control. Yes. He's in control of everything. There's not one um, portion of our life that he's not aware of. Even though, you know, at times we may try to keep him out of certain areas of our life, certain rooms in, in our spiritual house, but the Lord is always involved. He's always aware of whatever is going on and whatever is taking place. So just keep in mind, God is in control. And second, this verse reminds yes, us that he, he will take whatever life throws at us and he will begin to work it into some sort of tapestry, and he will begin to work it for work it out for us. So, Amen. even as we're moving forward, I'm sure that there are numerous witnesses on the line that can attest to this. You can attest to the fact that you know God is in control. You can attest to the fact that oh, yeah. whatever is thrown at you, that for some some way or another, it, it seems. Work, God seems to work things out. So once again, tonight's word is coming from Romans 8, chapter, verse 28. And again, it reads, And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called to purpose. So when we begin to look at this verse, we begin to look at the first part. It says, All things work together for them that love God. Amen. Thank you, love Amen. the Lord. We know yes. that we have... Uh, when it comes to love, we know that um, in our relationship that we have some level of trust in what or who we love. But in regards to relationship with God, this level of trust is often tested whenever we face a trial or a season where things have become unfavorable for us. When it doesn't seem like we're taking the easy road, it seems like the road that we're traveling seems to have a lot of crooks instead of being straight. It's, it's more crooked than straight. But we have to um, uh, realize that Romans 28 promises that if we genuinely love and we trust God during these seasons, he has no other choice but to work everything together for our good. Amen. 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 And if we remember from um, the verse, the, the, the message from last week when we say God, God, he said that even before you call him, he's already answering and he says, because you trust him, he said, now I have to work because that trust is there. Yeah. And he Amen. has to work on our behalf. So he promises that whatever we face, it will all work out. It will, he, it will all work together for our good, for our good. And sometimes our good is not what we think it is. Mm -hmm. My Lord. Amen. Amen. Because the Lord, he has his own purpose. He He sees the bigger picture. He sees something much bigger than what we see. So he promised to work everything out, even if we, in the midst of everything that we're dealing with, we begin to lose faith or we begin to lose direction. He said he promises he's going to work everything out for our good. Amen. 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 So one thing that we have to keep in mind is that this verse does not encourage us to have a blank check mentality meaning that our situation, we, we um, enter into situations and we begin to say to ourselves, well, you know, this thing is going to work itself out. 
no, it's not going to work itself out. But we have to remember that God has to be in the center. So without God in the Amen. center, it's not going to work Amen. out. Amen. So the Lord has to be in the center. He must remain our focus when things are complex. And when it seems like no one seems to understand us, we have to re- be reminded that he is in it with us. He's that fourth man in the fire or in the fourth man in the furnace with us as we're dealing with certain issues that he is um, concerned about us when no one could understand our concern. Maybe um, our concerns may seem minute to someone else. Our anxieties may seem minute to someone else. We can always vent and, and just pray and just talk to the Lord and the Lord is right there with us. Amen. And in spite of that, he's going to work everything as the scripture is out for our good. So we love God, and we praise him when things are going well. And when it seems like he's rewarding us, but it's hard to see him working things out for us when it appears that his hands are still and that he is silent. And I'm sure that there are some people on the line tonight that that you you have a couple of things that are on the altar right now before the Lord. You Amen. want the Lord just to work things out and you may have in your mind what you may think it may look like, but the Lord says no, it's something else. It's another way to handling this. And this is why it's important that we have the prayer life that we should we have the relationship with God that we should, that his Holy Spirit begin to reveal to us and give us insight on what we how we see things, how we should see life, how we should see our situations. So it will become much more, more easy for us to deal with. So even when it seems like he's silent, he's not silent. He's still moving. Amen. He's still moving um, behind the scenes. In those times when it seems like he is silent, it makes worship hard for some of us. But we have to make this confession like David. In the third verse, and it says, I have been young and now am old. And it doesn't mean that you're you're a young person, that you're an old person. It just pretty much means that you have matured in your spiritual walk. You're no longer a babe in Christ, but you have matured in your spirit walk enough. And you know, it says, now that I've been young and now I'm old, yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging. So let that be your encouragement. The 37th Psalm, verse 25, I'm mature enough in my spiritual walk that even as I look back over my life, I can see that those that have trusted the Lord, they've never been taken that the Lord has never let them down, nor his seed begging for bread. So we've never been in a we've been taken care of. My Lord, thank you. Amen. 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 So if you ever become faint, just encourage yourself and reflect on the times when God came through for you and remind yourself how everything, when you put him in the center and you made him that, that focal point, your focal point, how everything began to fall in place. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. So, oh, yes. Amen. So we should always keep one thing in mind, and that is God is always worthy to be praised. Always. He is always worthy yes, to Lord. be worshipped. Yes. He is always oh, worthy yes. of all adoration because despite everything, He is still good to us. Oh, yes. 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 Praise He's still Him. good to us. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 Many yes. people have walked away from Him, but. Instead of them walking away from the Lord, God has not walked away from them. He has never left them. He's never abandoned anyone. Mm, my Lord. Amen. 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 So we, with this misconception that God's blessing usually comes when things are good, but there are times when God will take us through a wilderness experience. And this leads to the Amen. last portion of the verse. It promises that all things work together for those called according to his purpose. In other words, if you have acknowledged and accepted your purpose in God in Christ, everything will begin to work together for you. If you say that I'm in alignment with what God has for me and where God has taken me and his purpose for my life, then in spite of all everything that could be thrown at us on our path, that you know that everything will begin to work out for us. Even if we, you have people that will come up against you, rise up against you, we have that promise that the Lord says that he will contend against those who will contend against up, and that he'll begin to work things out because he's trying to take us from one place to another place. He's trying to get us to where we're supposed to be to our purpose. 
So we Amen. we have to be encouraged knowing that in spite of everything that could come against us, that he's still able to work things out. Nothing can change his yes, plans. Yes. Nothing would ever change his mind concerning us, concerning where he's going to take us, concerning um, where he, where his end point is for us. So, again, I'm, I just want to encourage you with this word. And uh, once again, this verse, it has so many reminders. But the last reminder, it tells us that we are never without hope, that we all have hope as long as we trust him, as long as we love him, as long as we're walking in alignment with his purpose. And that is that God cannot fail since he's infallible. He's already seen our end and he knows our beginning. So tonight I want to, again, encourage you with um, the words from Romans Romans 8.28 that says, And we know that all things work together for those who love the Lord and who are called according to his purpose. And remember, even as you meditate on that verse, that God is in control and he can work things out for us. Amen. Keep him in the center. Amen. Yes, Amen. Lord. Yes. So that is, that is my word for tonight, and I pray it was short, but I pray that it encouraged someone. And I oh, pray yes. That it, Praise it the was, Lord. It was a deposit in your spiritual bucket. So um, since we have a few minutes, if anyone would like to say a word or so, then now is the time that you can. Praise your name. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Give God some glory. Praise your name, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Give God some glory now. So if we don't have anyone, then I'm gonna we're gonna go ahead and just close out. Once again, I want to thank everyone for joining us on the Conform to His Image prayer gathering line tonight, as well as um, thank you for your prayers, even when we're not um, meeting. You know your prayers throughout the week for the gathering. You know I just uh, thank and praise God for those who are on this line and as well as those who have supported in other ways. So now we're going to go ahead and close out with prayer right now. And I want to ask um, um, Sister Long if you would just close us out. All right. Heavenly Father, as we call on your name at this hour, we want to take the yes, time Lord. and say thank you. Thank you, dear thank Lord, you. for blessing us to get on the conform. Yes, Lord. Prayer gathering tonight, Lord. We yes. Thank you. Praise you, dear Lord, for continue blessing this gathering, Lord. In oh, the... glory, hallelujah. Thank you, dear Lord, for strengthening us all where we are weak, Lord, and build us yes. up a tone down, Lord. We thank you, praise yes. you dear Lord, for blessing us this yes, coming. Yes, Lord. Thank you, dear Lord, for keeping us all under your covering, under the blood of your son, Jesus. Keep us hallelujah. unseen and unseen danger in the name of Jesus. Yes. Thank you, dear yes, Lord, Lord, for continue supplying all our needs uh, according yes. to your riches in glory by Christ Jesus, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank, thank, you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, dear thank Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we say thank you, yes, dear Lord. Lord. Thank, thank you for continuing your blessing us and Bless keeping us, Lord. Us, Lord. Thank you for continuing your face and your faith shine upon us, yes, Lord. Lord. And you giving oh, us Oh, yes. Giving us peace in the yes. midst of all this mess. Oh, my and God, my Lord, God. Bless us with peace. Yes, Lord. That peace that only you can give us, Lord. That oh, peace yes. that passes all yeah. understanding. We say thank and praise you, Lord. Thank you. Blessing us to have a great week, a yes. blessed week, a god favored yes, week. Yes, Lord. Oh, in holy, the name holy, of holy, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. My faith. Thank you. Hallelujah. Oh, we, we caught it. In Jesus' name. It's a blessing. In yes. Name, we pray. Amen. 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 Thank God be the glory. Amen.